All right, we got some obsidian tier matchups to get underway today. We're gonna start it off with encrypted versus stake. My name is Tic Tac Fo. I'll be your commentator for this matchup. Hello, everyone in chat. Hope you've been enjoying the revived. It's fantastic. I had both racers here, but then, okay, they're back. Stake went offline for a moment. But they're here now. Uh, both these racers are very good at this game. And it looks like they are readying up and gearing to go. This is the first week of Condor Season 10. So I have no information on this racer, on these racers, that is current. Records of zero and zero. However, both racers made it to the playoffs last season. And here we go. Stake representing the blue side encrypted hex <laughs> on uh, the red side. Early blood shop, it's got a Nazar charm, base cutlass, and gold broadsword. Encrypted's gonna grab the, uh, the charm. Their game will be actually fair and balanced. Red chest on 1-1 one, one as well. Stake reset. Got their bomb back. And both racers are going to find a torch of walls. So don't got to worry about mapping on this go-ahead seed. And we'll get into 1-2 at about the same time. Looks like Stake's going to farm up a, a few coins here. You kind of want to be at that 50 mark as soon as you can in case you find a Shriner. Or perhaps a Shrine of Luck there. There's a dragon just busting into the shop here, and it's not a terrible shop. There's a armor, cheese, and a jewel dagger. That's going to dish out some five damage. It's not steak on a stick. It's steak on a steak. I feel like a chef would know that. Being food and all. Steak's going to grab more gold. <laughs> Gonna milk each one of those items before we pick them up. And then, uh, wow, there's a magic drumstick that Stake went back for in a barrel. I'm gonna test their luck here. Finds a bunch of feet items. Gonna go for the Explorer boots. Encrypted moved forward, though, and is gonna fight Coral Rift without a bomb. So this is a very opportune time for Stake to go farming. They'll be able to throw bomb. Once they get down there, still have one three to contest with. Which is easily dispatched with that jewel dagger. And purple chest check for encrypted. They're gonna find the earth spell. And this is a pretty much completed build already. I mean, we can find more stuff if we want, but we can go now. We're in, we're in go mode. We'll look at stuff along the way. Stack of bombs right away in 2-1. Both racers pick that up. Good earth kill on that dragon for stake. Not going to mess around with uh, the dagger kill. And yeah, it looks like both racers are headed straight to the exit. Picking up bombs along the way. Gonna have to deal with this mud pit first, but we'll be into the zone 2 boss. It's going to be Kanga. This time with bombs, Encrypted can uh, do an Azuma strat. Or, uh, bomb and kill. Earth Zuma probably would have been the way to go if we were going to do that. But it looks like we're going to bomb and kill. The king, uh, <laughs> trenching up behind the conga line there. Stake got a similar spawn too and did get hit there, so no flawless victory. But they'll be in the zone three first. Not going to lose too much here. Encrypted finds a shield, uh, what is that? A shield sheet. A sheet of shield. I think it's a scroll. It's called a scroll. 
and both of them found uh, <laughs> pretty much synced up there on the conjure shop getting the shovel of courage the cryptid's gonna go back for a ring gets the ring of peace so uh, advantage going over to encrypted stake still has a lot of health though so Good earth kill on that blue dragon. Taking a few hits though along the way for stake at that exit. You can see it's a green one for encrypted and they took a big hit from that black skeleton and got pushed all the way to the right here. It finally makes it down the stairs. Stake into the zone three boss. It's uh, deep blues and it's already checkmate before the match even started. And jewel dagger just getting thrown right up the gun. And grenade charms for stake in the red chest. That's a pretty dang good find right at zone four. All these little sub rooms, you can just open the wall and huck a grenade in there. Pretty much takes care of everything. Cryptid tried a monkey, but uh, sent, it, sent her back to the beginning. Well, stake's just gonna walk. And we'll make it there. Uh, looks like they're s moving back a little bit here. I'd like to see a, a grenade use like I was talking and encrypted's gonna find a obsidian cat in that sub room to the right and it's gonna switch off to it another very fast weapon a move attack weapon as compared to the jewel dagger there's titanium cat even if we wanted it was stake taking some pummels from a uh, gargoyle there down to one heart and needs to start keeping pace with Encrypted, who's uh, moving through 4-3 now. There's the grenade use. That's what I want to see. Boots a pain, but not enough health to pick it up for Encrypted. Those would pair really well. Uh, now we do. Has uh, the carrot, but it's already behind them. Gonna move on into the zone 4 boss. It's Fortissimal. And Stake's gonna go down, just getting uh, in trouble there with a Blade Master and a Lich. It's not enough to keep up with uh, Encrypted, who's gonna use that shovel they found in Zone 3 to dig straight to the exit on Zone 5. And I doubt we'll see slow play procedures from Encrypted. Gotta get on top of that dot fastest. don't think they'll do it with this seed though i think uh the top's like 723 i think what's the barrier to entry here well, i thought i could scroll up and just look at it but the right side spawn so easy left side scoots, 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 scoots. Looks like barrier to entry is 824, so uh, they should get in on their first race. Flame Haze in uh, the current first position with 724. Flame Haze, a gold tier racer, by the way. In that number one spot. There's the last hit for Encrypted. Gonna head down to the stairs and take the first loot of the match. About 7.35. Race time, uh, GG's. Let's take a closer look at what happened to Stake there. In zone four. He was on that one heart for a while. Grenade charms taking out those golems. Oh, gets confused. Yeah. We'll have that. All right, racers are jumping in right away to the second seed. Season 10 is just like the last season where we'll have a match of three races. Each victory is a point awarded to that racer, which will affect their ranking throughout the season. So every win counts. Quick reset for Encrypted. 
it's all there going the wrong way. And then there's a red bat cave for both racers. Gonna find a drumstick. Could potentially trade that in for uh, a blood shop purchase. Gotta find the blood shop though first. Stake down into one, two first. Stack of bombs for both racers. There's a lock shop here and Encrypted's gonna go back and check it out. I think that's super valuable. Lock shops are huge, but there's the blood shop for stake in that. Lock shop's kind of a bust. A magic apple, glass, uh, whip. Stake's gonna find a ring of pain in a barrel right next to chainmail. Encrypted's gonna miss that perhaps? No, they're going back for it. And then uh, <laughs> there's that Nazar charm in the blood shop again. And the torch. Both racers are gonna pick that up. We're on to 1 3. A stake uh, at the exit. Found grenade charms again in the red chest, I'd imagine. Yep. We're gonna see a death metal fight. Imagine just two grenades, and there's the flawless victory for stake. Let's get off this dagger and see what's in the black chest. It's gonna be titanium rapier paired with the ring of pain. This is gonna be fast. Cryptid's gonna do the same, I'd imagine. Stake looking right for an exit there. Gets into the 2 3 mosh pit already. Just as uh, Encrypted gets into zone two. Banshee helping Stake out a little bit there. Stake's gonna see what's in this barrel, but forgot that he's uh, dealing two plus pain damage, so can't open it. But is into Coral Rift. Here's a grenade, Coral Rift. Good catch. Flawless victory. And Encrypted going the wrong way a little bit here. Not so much help from the Banshee but does find the exit. And zone three, the big equalizer. Stake's gonna have to do the mapping first, so that gives the advantage to Encrypted. She'll be able to tell that the exit's, what, top left here? Uh, uh yeah. Way left. Yeah, she tried to dig over there, but uh, it's gonna have similar difficulties getting to that exit. So not too much time lost by Stake. And it's a horizontal blue dragon with a huge swarm here that Encrypted's dealing with. Takes a clap a hit, but a ring of pain really helping out. Down to one heart though. And a pretty quick exit on 3-2 for both racers. Banshee helping out. Oh, Stake sliding into a ice beetle. Also down to one heart. Bombing that barrel on 3-3, uh, three, three, find some obsidian armor. Encrypted's gonna go the other way and find a frost charm and a trap door. Stake's not even gonna have time to pick up that obsidian armor. Just have to go ahead. King Kanga, your zone three boss. Quick kill for Encrypted, was that a uh, grenade Zuma? Is that what I saw? Stake's gonna check red chest here, hope for something. He, uh, I'm just kidding, purple chest. Uh, for so for something. Found a transmute spell, I mean, maybe. Encrypted took that hit and the frost charm is uh, destroyed. Look at those cold enemies. <laughs> Gluttony charm for both racers on 4-1, that's gonna <laughs> a tease. Stake's gonna look in this shriner, uh, there's Shrine of Peace, it's gonna give you your health back, but it'll delete your weapon, so we can't grab it, but on 4-2, there is a potion. Good grenade use for stake there. And Encrypted's gonna pick up that potion, it almost gets clubbed. But a quick dodge to the right, and we're into 4-3. It's looking like stake's gonna have a bit of a difficulty here keeping pace with Encrypted. There's the potion for stake. Needs to set up the grenade for it, but we'll get in there. One heart heal for Encrypted, who's at the 4-3 exit. Good bomber goblin assistance there, taking four health off of the uh, mummy. 
And your zone four boss is gonna be Fortissimal again. He likes that zone four stage. It's got the strongest uh, fans out in front. Those black skeletons. And gonna skip the boss chests straight into zone five. Stake gonna follow suit. Stake does have that heart transplant. Um, I think it would be best used on 5 1 here because it's like the slowest song, so you can uh, zoom on to the exit, but might be saving it for. I don't know. It's pretty scary with one heart. You do have potion, I suppose. I think needs to use it though because they are a full floor behind. I don't think you make up the time during Dead Ringer. Although Dead Ringer is probably the safest place to use it. Because it's a, a set fight for these levels. Arrendo. And there it is. Stake's gonna pop it on 5-3. Uh, Pops the potion as well. Is gonna find the exit. It's a left side spawn for Dead Ringer on encrypted side. Uh, looks like we're doing Oblivion strats. Lines it up, and there it is. Flawless victory. Stake's gonna do Oblivion as well. It's a rider there, but uh, two riders. Good lineup there on uh, the Rapier. And Ring of Pain helping out again. Encrypted's gonna be into phase two first. In command of this seed. See them lures. No red dragon spawns. Oh, there's a red dragon. Crypto gonna take the time to destroy it. It can get a bit awkward. Also makes for easy uh, lures on those last two hits and Encrypted's gonna take another loot off a of stake here, but stake just behind. A few seconds off. 7.23 race time. Almost sub seven in game. GG. And I think that takes number one position for dot fastest. So Encrypted's gonna be happy. Oh, it was <laughs> uh, Condor bot. Uh, begs to differ. One tenth slower. One tenth of a second off. Well, now Encrypted's gonna be annoyed. <laughs> All right. Turns out that my timer is not the official timer. It's Condor Bot in uh, the event server. All right, new seed, same weapon. See that 1-1 blood shop has an explore boot and uh, that titanium broadsword. Also, both racers found a glass torch, so that's early mapping. But all the aggro. Hey, a stake dagger. Stake didn't see it though, encrypted did. <laughs> There's a boss shrine there, but uh, no bomb for the extra strength charm. It might be worth checking. Just, no, neither racer is going to check it. We're going down to 1 3. Obsidian Longswords. Stake's going to switch to it. Uh, maybe just to open this crate. But you could have just like pushed it down the trapdoor, so that feels like a waste of time. And uh, encrypted, head down a uh, trapdoor to your one three mosh or uh, your zone one mosh pit for King Kanga. Stake's gonna find a different one. Hey Bronx Taco, thanks for that. No bomb for either racer, so we got to do the Kanga shuffle, which is two dances in one. Both racers get the flawless victory, and we'll be checking purple chest here for a ring of protection. Oh, Stake's gonna switch it up. 
went for a torch in the red chest since torch of walls so uh, more or, uh, same mapping but less aggro both racers gonna find uh, some leather armor and a conjure shop going for a ring on stake side gonna get the ring of shielding uh, encrypted went for a shovel and gets the battle shovel stakes gonna get another roll here on a ring ring of pain uh down to half a heart though so kind of scary but encrypted's at one heart too so both kind of scared very similar build the last time for stake encrypted finds uh, a shiner on two two and going to kill the dragons here oh no dragon's gonna get the kill that red dragon lining up that fireball but encrypted did uh, the correct thing there bombing the uh blood shrine to get the ring of region out and then the plan was to hit the uh shrine of space shrine of darkness even and then switch to that ring we'll see if stake tries the same i mean ring pain's pretty good you have mapping already okay just got what <laughs> just blew it all up <laughs> <laughs> wow okay <laughs> sure feels good uh stake's gonna kill the shopkeeper here though to get those two extra hearts and drop their mapping stake seems a little off uh their game this zone too yeah the wall torch getting left behind and stake's gonna notice that when they enter zone three it's like why can't i see my mini map But uh, yeah, the uh, bright torch still uh, illuminates pretty well, and we can see uh, kind of which direction to go. But uh, Encrypted uh, does have very good seed retention. We've seen her run back a few seeds uh, last season very quickly you see her already in uh back to that conjurer shop so i wonder why we got that ring if we're just gonna switch off again anyway i mean i guess just for that extra protection i'm sure she knew it was the ring of shielding here we go again back into the dragon fight these spawns are not seated, so it's going to be different each time. And uh, this is not looking great either. Oh, that fireball! <laughs> Looks like we'll we'll set it up here. We'll be all right. Stake dodges uh, some boots of pain there. Took a hit somewhere else though. Found a one purple heart and has a squagga suit. Look at all those hot coals. There's so many hot coals. <laughs> Got explore boots though, so it's fine. But encrypted into uh, that zone two boss just as stake gets into your zone three it's gonna be death metal with those beetles careful it's the flawless victory checking purple for fireball into zone four can we get some gargoyle food please barrel food maybe how about just a good old potion that works too stake's gonna find that gonna bomb on the other side so uh ooh, get some value from bombing those guys there's four uh, gargoyles there that we can bomb for things and encrypted trying to go fast here takes a, a hit on them spikes down to a trap door into the zone 3 mosh pit and uh, gonna get this death metal kill and we'll be just a floor behind here I like to take switch off of the uh, blast helm into a miner's cap that's gonna allow them to scoot a little bit quicker maybe give them a uh, an edge uh, just unable to line up a fireball there for stake at the exit there's the potion and uh, magic drumstick for encrypted owie stake taking a few hits but getting a kiss almost back to full health Ooh, wind spell there pulling stake in and there's lots of explosions but makes it to the 4-3 exit 
on to deep blues two bombs to encrypted three there's a good fireball for stake taking all out chess pieces there using pain really well to uh, splash damage on multiple enemies and into zone five first Encrypted taking a nightmare hit there and then a bomb blast. But uh, it's enough to take them through. Stake found a trap door into 5 2. And here's the miner's cap going to work. Another trap door into 5 3. Encrypted is going to be able to see where those trap doors are, though, so should be able to make it up. Taking a few hits from Deep Blues, they may just be screen watching there. But I think uh, Stake's going to be too far ahead here. Stake taking a lot of hits, though. Squagasu getting a few dents in it. Exits down below. Can still tank a few more. Still has that potion. But is going to be into Dead Ringer first. So left side spawn. More Oblivion strats. Encrypted has made their way down into... What is this? 5-3? And with their map, they can see where the exit is. But stakes into the Necker Dancer fight. Popped their potion. And uh, has to do some button puzzles here. Encrypted does have enough bombs. Encrypted gonna do the uh, Japanese strat. And gets dunked, but uh, has that potion. And here, stake finally gets into phase two. One hit on the Necker Dancer. Maybe gets two hits in there before Encrypted's into phase two. Uh, Encrypted with that Shrine of Darkness is going to have an easier time luring with that reduced aggro. But it looks like Stake's already done. And it's going to take at least one loot home today. Well done. GG's to both racers. Sub nine race time. All right, uh, we got a 